So you need to use this password written over here www.dl2f.com Kindly wait for a few seconds in order to extract the con complete content of your software. Make sure your wire firewall and all everything is turned off. And remember, this is the setting for 64 bits. If your system is 32 bits, then this software will not work as it is already written. So this is nothing but a 2018 version with 64 bit. So you have to download 64 bit only. And remember the password is already given, but if you will try to open this folder without extracting this uh, content, so it may not work properly. So it's better to extract the content first and then uh, start for installation. Okay. So it's about to complete the extract process. We'll see that. Okay, now it's been completed. Let us see how to do that. Okay, now uh, first I will remove the CST from my computer, otherwise it will be a problem. So I will install first from my side. Let it uninstall the complete content. So once it will be uninstalled, so you have to use this option in order to install that particular software. Okay. And as I said, please remember this is 2018 version. And generally, if you are working on any of the single elements antenna or any basic structures, and you can go with the student version also. Okay, so we also don't do not recommend, but at the same time, yes, it is very useful for the learning purpose only. Do not try for any other aspect. So now that has been uninstalled. Now let's start with the setup. So install CST Studio. I will disconnect with the internet. Okay, click, click on next. I accept the agreement over here. Okay, so I'll just uh, remove that over here and let's use uh, different So I have used with a different email. Okay, and Whatever the remaining files were there in uh, local disk C that has been removed now and now there is a new installation which is going on in this and maybe it will take another 5 to 10 minutes not more than that and remember if it is installed and the CST by default it will open then you have to close it so that we can activate this software in an easier way. So I'll just pause it uh, and it will take five minutes more. Now once uh, the process will complete, it will ask to launch. Now I'll uncheck this option. Okay. 
now what i'll do just whatever your computer name is there that you need to use so in order to find out the computer name just go to settings and just go for the accounts now wait you need to use this option device name is for my it is user you can use any other option now okay so what i'll do is just i'll just copy this option copy these all the files in my local disk c so it has been installed in this one wait yeah so i'll copy over here okay and what i'll do i'll just run over this patch so that it will be patched successfully remember that you need to keep your windows wire for now you can see that it is uh, properly patched now one thing i like to add over here that you need to copy the one more content that is this folder bin folder which is available after the installation after the extract actually the setup file so copy the contents of bin and come to the installation address and copy that, paste that also that also now once you will open that license file which is available in the setup so you have to change the user name over here so here i am having name as user and also i'll change the date from 2018 to 2026 okay and i'll save that okay so you have to use your pc name i am having user now open that cst software the first time you will open it will ask the license file just click on this and locate that cst file it will take the port names and all click yes and it will open up so this is how you can install your cst studio okay